Hello, gals and posh pals. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> and welcome I had to, to the t-shirt. And welcome to our bins haul oh. from the Tuesday thrift with us at the bin. I'm so excited. Everything's cleaned. Almost everything's photographed. Everything will get drafted and posted within the next one day to 60 days. Yes. And we're actually filming this that. a couple days before you're seeing it. So I'm going to be taking my pictures right after we're done filming this haul. And so basically, probably almost all of my stuff will be up as well. So I think both of us will have a good share of our stuff. I up. hope so. But as we said, Ryan is going on vacation. So I maybe, don't know. maybe not for him. <laughs> I might not work on vacation, but like airports and stuff. Yeah. I feel like I'm always the most productive. I just realized we didn't just say that to you guys. So Ryan's Sorry. going... Did we? No. I, I'm no. so We said on. that at the end of the Tuesday video. <laughs> yeah. For anybody who doesn't Ryan's know... Ryan's going on vacation this next Saturday. So he will be busy, clearly. So I don't know about his, but my stuff should mainly be up. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't remember or you missed it, <sighs> this is from the Tuesday Thrift With Us, and the bins were absolutely packed. Busy. Us, busy, busy, busy. Us and all the mm -hmm. regulars agreed that we had never, honestly, ever seen it that busy. It was crazy. No. The high school kids are off still. Oh my god, no, it's the college kids. The college kids, kids oh. are still off. So it was... As I was a college kid. It was... In, yeah, those, Six those months ago. A year ago. Kids. I graduated a year ago in December. Maybe I that. did. Honestly, I felt like such an old person being like, these dang college these kids. These kids. Oh, oh god. Taking up my place of work. Kill me. So, <laughs> we did, though, get honestly a normal share of stuff because we stayed there quite a long time we hadn't been there for like two weeks at least i missed it i was starting to get the itch so we needed mm -hmm. to sock up so we did so we have a lot to show you guys i don't know if there's anything like extremely luxe or anything in here but we do got yeah. a lot of good stuff and i also will say i don't have any shoes or any bags i have one pair of shoes and i do have some bags but so the guess, rest of it's kind of just like a smattering of clothing so i guess ryan will start us off before we get into it we do have a regular what's on saturday going up on saturday it'll just probably be recorded on on Friday or something? I'm not sure. It's Somewhere gonna, in there. It's gonna be yeah. like pre-recorded somehow because Ryan's obviously leaving on Saturday and I get to get up and drive him to the airport. Yay! It's seven in the morning. Yeah. So, and then next week, since Ryan will be so gone, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. So, Probably a thrift with me. Yeah. I hope Debbie makes an appearance or two. I hope we can convince that old bat to come on. <laughs> well, I definitely will need her next, next Saturday. But yes, let me know if there's anything specific that you want to see in the next week. I maybe will do a real, real video, even though with all the new changes to commission and stuff, it's not as exciting to talk about anymore. Yeah. But I still obviously do use them a ton. Yes, so he does. If you we get those boxes <laughs> multiple times a week, so and you, they are huge. Huge. If you do want to see that, let me know. But if you want to just see me do a thrift with that, thrift with me, or like a strictly consignment haul or something, just let me know and yeah. I will do it. But let's jump into it and Ryan's going to start with his shoes. Okay. His um, the elephant in the room, or should I say the beaver in the room, is um this t-shirt that I got that Jack threw at me. It says Bucky's Tour 1982. And then in the back, it has all the different like Bucky's and when they opened. I love this t-shirt. I've seen them on TikTok. Not that I use TikTok that much, but I was like, I love these. And the one regret that I have when we were in Texas was I didn't get any Bucky's merch. That's shocking. I think I, I did. I, I got like a Bucky's Halloween t-shirt. Yes, you That's, did. I think somewhere with all my Halloween t-shirts. And I didn't get one and I was so upset. But anyway, I love this shirt. It's so fun. Um, Okay, moving on to my shoes. I found these for me and I was very, very, very excited because I leave on vacation. I'm going someplace warm. Really? We haven't said that like a trillion times. Not a beaver, it's a mouse. <laughs> but I was looking for a new pair of sandals because I unfortunately wore myself out of my Birkenstocks last summer. So I found this pair of Lululemon sandals. Of what? I wore myself out of my Birkenstocks. Of what? A pair of oh. what? Lululemon. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm a bit rusty. Um, Lululemon sandals. These are, thankfully, they have a name in them. The Rest Feet Slide. These are apparently like the Lululemon slide. I have no idea. Um, they're $58 on the website. I threw them in the washing machine. They look beautiful. And I paid a buck and for they them. Fit. And they fit wonderfully. And they are very comfortable, I will say. Okay, so bags. I have this one that Jack gave me. These always do so good on Depop. They give me a very rising international vibes. But this kind of like patchwork, little like sliced detail, and then just like plain in the back. It's not a rising international though. No, I does this have a brand to it? No, I don't it think so. Usually check. these don't. They're just like boutique. Yeah. Okay, so then we have a fair amount of mini bags for the girlies. So we have this really cute little one, which is Wilson's leather. And then we have this really cute little one, which is a no brand, but I like that it has this kind of like white. At least detail. Half I threw you. 
Yes. This one I found. It's a guest bag. I just need to like burn some of these threads away on the little handle. This is very like Takashi Mirakami. Takashi Mirakami? Whatever his name is, does Louis Vuitton with those like colorful little like flowery dudes and the colorful monogram. This is another guest purse. Very successful. The girlies had a very good day. So your hats too. Oh, I do have a couple of hats. Okay, so I have three hats and a little like... And one. another hat. Oh, I have four. I'm so <laughs> sorry. So I have this one. Really cute little vintage Mickey Mouse hat. I honestly like might take this with me. It actually fits. I know. And it's like low-key kind of cute. It's like expandable. It could almost be like kids, women's, or men's. Like, like I low-key don't hate this on me. And I'm like not a hats person. But like every now and again, it'd be getting warm. I always think Ryan looks fine in hats. But then he'll like keep one for a week and be like, I don't want it. It's not my favorite. I like this one though. So I might just bring it with me. It also would take up like no room in my suitcase. True. Maybe. It is vintage. Yes, it is. This I got a kick out of. So it's one of these, but it has all this like beading and stuff. And if you remember from a couple of what sold Saturdays ago, I sold one of these that was like one of these little newsboy hats and it had like 200 and something likes on Depop in like a matter of days. Yeah. So, and it sold very quickly. So I was very excited to find another one. This I thought was funny just because we are coming up on the holiday. It is the St. Patrick's Day hat that I'm going to put on Depop and it says the McDrunkle meter and it has this fun little like arrow that you can move on the hat and I also kind of want to give this to Debbie <sighs> because that I think would be very funny and then this is one of those little like granola girl mm. like this kind of a situation Cottage, um it is kiki lovers made with aloha on Kauai. so it's like made in hawaii I love this like Sweet. print I know it's adorable Kind of like Valentino Hawaii print. It is very like Valentino takes Hawaii. Oh, then I had this hat. This doesn't like mean anything. I just think it's funny. And also this lion patch is like kind of derpy looking. Yeah, it is definitely. It's kind of funny, which this kind of stuff is good on Depop. Oh, it's Doran Brothers. No. So, okay. I am going to have to Google that because this looks nice. There's a lot of tags on it. One size. So if this is something, you will find out later. <laughs> so I actually do have mine sorted, and I'm going to start with my pants and shorts and bottoms and stuff, and then I'll move on to my everything else. So first up is my best pair of pants, I believe, by far, and these are Zadig and Voltaire. I don't even know the last time I found Zadig and Voltaire. Of anything. I don't either. It's like been a minute. sweaters, tops, jackets, nothing. Yeah, it's been so, so long. So it's got the crackled Zadig and Voltaire patch there. It has this fun zipper, like half zipper detail around it's the very top. Thin. Yeah, very Zadig, very and, Zadig Voltaire. and Voltaire. I also have never seen their jeans, so it's a V and a Z, which I think is so cool on the Isn't back it? pocket. Oh, that's so cool. I yeah. love Zadig and Voltaire monogram stuff. They have belts that are Z and V. They have bags that have like the big Z oh, V plaque. So I cute. love those. These are a size 27 and and they're the Ava Zip. I have not looked them up at all. They have like kind of the raw hem to the bottom. That like exposed hem. But or that, what's that called? Released. They uh -huh. seem to be skinny or at least like slim. That's then cute. we have a pair of Banana Republic pants. And like I said in the Thrift With Us, I, over the last week, like between Christmas and New Year's Eve, I sold three pair of Banana Republic pants. Like the only three I had. So... In like... So when I found a few that were newer, I was like, okay, why would I not get them? And if they don't sell, like, I can consign them. Very cute, objectively. So these are the Sloan, which is a pair I've had before, size 8. And these, I think, are from 2016, so they are a little bit older. But they have this fun leather detail at the bottom here by the ankle. And then they oh, yeah. have the same leather details to the pockets on the front and the back. So again, I'm just going to give them a shot. I think, like J. Crew, Banana Republic, like, some of the customers want more of the, like, businessy, like, She's very business casual. She's very business stuff. casual. These I love. These and they so ended up cute. at the bins because they were priced at 15 at the store. A lot of my pants were actually from <sighs> store pulls. So once again, don't be afraid of the store pulls. Even the store. Ryan. I will say, I hate the store pulls. So the I people that do, them. I'm right there with you. The Zadigs were store pulls. Yes, they were. $9. I would have paid $9 for them, though. I'll be completely honest. These are the Athleta Cabo Tide Linen Joggers. Oh, love. Size 2. They're a camo they and they're so good. super high quality linen and yeah they have the jogger ankle to them these are pretty like i feel like decent size for a size two like i almost feel like this could fit a size four possibly as well why do you keep sniffing her they ankles? smell really good like whatever kind of fabric your ankles smell sheet. good ma'am your knee smells really nice <laughs> that's the fastest way for me to get locked up <laughs> anyway it is another pair of nanners <laughs> 
<laughs> Another pair of Banana Republic pants. But these are so, <laughs> not just so cute. These are corduroy utility pants. So they have these big oh. pockets at the top. And they're joggers. These are really cute. Even if I wasn't like into banana into nanners recently, I would still have totally picked these up. So they can unzip at the ankle and be kind of a wider ankle if you don't want that like tight jogger fit. But these are also a size eight, so all my manners are the same size. And these this is so I don't funny. know why that's the funniest thing in the world to me. I also love the thought of like a mom who has like young kids who like unfortunately has to call them nanners for her children, like ghosts to Banana Republic. And accidentally, and accidentally so it's like, oh, I have to go to Nana Republic. The and employee's the employee's like, get out. <laughs> <laughs> these are from the end of 2021. Oh, so funny. these are like only a year old. And these are so adorable. I actually saw that they do still sell them on the website. And also like these retail for $118. So that's why I'm not mad to pick up oh, something like that. Expensive Nanners, man. I know. <laughs> then we have Aruba <gasps> Athleta. Oh God, here we go again. <laughs> Athleta size extra large tall so a fantastic size and these are wide actually i thought they were flare but honestly they're just kind of like, like wide straight leg. Yeah. leg these are cute i have almost the exact same pair in extra large tall as well so if you're interested in like tall relaxed fit athleta and you're an xl i have two pair for perfect you. and then i also have these, these gorp core pants this color is super popular right now this like chartreuse yes and if you don't remember what gorp core is it is kind of like an outdoorsy aesthetic of like patagonia orange this kind of green it's like people that wear things that are meant for like outdoors like activities biking, but you wear them like just for fun just to wear them so they have like the buckle as the belt which i think is such a gorp core little like addition <laughs> very true they also have mm -hmm. the snap button at the top and they're by rei and they're also upf so you won't get sunburned Ooh, bur through are these. these like zip off oh my they god they are i love me a zip off they're a woman size eight 100 nylon so i think that these will do really really well this is such a like gorp core type item and i will put these them on cute. depop and posh i mean and yes. ebay and everywhere but this is something i will also put on depop okay next up for me is this really cute little christine one of our bids friends for this to me it's a nirvana t-shirt but it's from ASOS, and it was from 2020. Just a cute little banty. This, oh, okay. So this is that 7-Up sweater that I found a while ago, but I just cleaned it. And she got in the bag to take pictures of. I was super excited to find this. This is a Spank size 1X. And it's just those good old, I don't know if these are the power high short or if these like have a different name, but these are like a lot thicker than I feel like some of the other ones that I find. So I'm very excited. Yeah, they are. It's gonna hold you in. I'm very excited to have these spank. They're kind of a comfortable material. I was too. gonna say, I feel like they'd be really soft. So this dress I thought was gonna be kind of like one of those handmade vintage situations, but it actually has a brand to it. And I looked them up. So the brand is Heartbreakers. It's kind of like a modern company and they make like pinup style fashion. Um, they weren't, like, crazy expensive, but they weren't, like, the cheapest thing in the world either. And I know this stuff definitely has, like, a big following to it. So it's just, like, a red gingham little, like, 1950s housewife-looking pinup dress. Which, those do good on Depop. People love them. I think this is my favorite thing that I found this entire trip. It's a two-piece. So there's a blouse. And it has this beautiful... I don't know if this is, like, suede or not. I want to say no. I don't think it is. Faux suede little, like, cover. And it's belted... And when the two pieces are together and this thing is like all put together, it is beautiful. This blouse has this beautiful little pussy bow, has these nice big dramatic like sleeves. Oh my God, it's stunning. It looks so good together. I did not see you find that. It's beautiful. And I do not know who Samuel Robert by Peter Hatsey Andrew is. If anybody has any kind of info, please spill it my way because I would like to know. So next up for me is a pair of shorts. And these are some Patagonia shorts. I walked up, speaking of, so our Ben's friend, Christine and Love Ryan her. were like talking and I walked between them and I grabbed these in the bin that was right in front of them. That's okay. She also like, found um, an S31, a Sam, or not an S31, S31, a Sam 13 coat in the bin that I just been in. So, so these are Patagonia size small. And I just found a pair of these in black like two or so weeks ago. I don't remember what they're called. 
but they do do really good. It's a pretty popular Patagonia style. Those look nice. Then we have another Athleta, and this is size six Athleta, and these are like the Moto Jegging. Oh, the, I have I've seen these before. I have had these before. These are mm -hmm. in really good shape yeah. for the age of this label, these which nice. I know they sometimes reuse labels. Yeah, these are 2015, so not super almost new. Almost 10 years old. Nowadays, oh my gosh, yeah. Again, I'm Oh old. my God, 2015 was almost 10. I graduated, I graduated high school in 2015. Wow. Don't talk about that. It's not <laughs> 10 years ago, but Almost. we're getting there. <sighs> Send me a walker to my P.O. box I was going to say, can you no, see the gray hair from there? <laughs> <laughs> Next up is a pair of Beta Brand, which is another brand I feel like I haven't found in forever. Beta Brand moment? There's so long. a handful of brands that I'm just like, it's been a while. <laughs> but there you are. <laughs> Here we are. Beta Brand, they're extra small, petite, so they're definitely quite small. But, of course, at the bins, I wouldn't skip this. I probably wouldn't get these at a consignment store no. or even at a thrift store unless they were, like, under $5. Yeah. But they have the logo right there, and they have this, like, fun kind of zipper cross-pocket detail. So, hopefully, they'll do okay. And I the mean, color's really cute. Obviously, you know? there are people out there who are... Size extra small size petite. Teeny it's just tiny. not mm -hmm. a ton of people. Then we have a pair of Lucy, which I have not grabbed Lucy in a hot minute you either. Have, what were those pants that you found like every single time you went thrifting for like six months? Get going. The get going pants. Yes, oh which are God. just like the dog walkers or the dance studios, which is why they're so popular. <laughs> These are size small, Lucy. And these are just like wide leg. They're just called like the tech wide leg pant or something. Oh, these will do good though. People love these. The Lucy like... more like relaxed style stuff does better, I feel like. Which honestly is probably true with basically all of the athletic brands is like yeah. the more chill, relaxed, like not legging can do better sometimes mm -hmm. and then i also found this pair of pants which is soft surroundings medium tall which tall does really good on ebay and These tall can even do really good on posh as well mm -hmm. whereas all petite, my tall pants sell on poshmark whereas petite is like not where are the petites where so the these petites? are really fun. They have a ton of buttons at the bottom. I'm, I don't always have them. Yeah, they all snap. <gasps> I don't always have the best luck with soft surroundings anymore, but I think because these are tall that they'll do a little bit better. And also, yeah. I don't know, they're just cute. I and think these are a little bit more modern they're than too. They're really good for, honestly, like any season. Yeah, like, they're adorable. Okay, next up for moi is a bunch of stuff that I knocked over. My bad. So this Jack found and I'm going to give it to my mom. It's the Kilimanjaro Safari. And if you know anything about me, you know that I am two things. One, obsessed with Disney. And two, a Disney adult. This is the Kilimanjaro Safari from Animal Kingdom. We have been on many a time. Fun fact about my childhood. We had a neighbor growing up. Lovely human beings. They were so nice. They had this teeny little French terrier called Scrappy. He was adorable. Scrappy. Scrappy. He was a French wire Scrappy terrier. Doo. He was so cute. But she used to drive for this. Huh. So, like, they were snowbirds. So every, like, fall, they would get this massive, like, 100,000 foot RV into the driveway and she was like a teeny little woman and here she comes like tooting down the street in her <laughs> literally in her semi style RV and then she would drive um, the Kilimanjaro Safari. So this is going to my mom. Long story short. Long story it gets even longer. Now Janet can get her RV. I was going to say and now Janet can go get her own RV and become a driver at Disney. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> This thing was a semi. It was huge. So this is a really fun little t-shirt. It is by a brand called Market. There is the tag. These are really expensive. I asked for one for Christmas because it has a little bear like printmaking on it, which is what I did. Um, this one says, keep the game fresh. And they're like, it's like cherry basket. They're like fifty, sixty dollars for a T-shirt. They sell them at Nordstrom. They are still very popular. So Even I the was... real, real takes it. it yeah. They won't mark it high. They'll put they them do. at like fifty, but yeah. This I'm going to keep. It is a really cute little Keith Haring T-shirt. I don't think this is like from anything. No, it's just like a Gildan. But I love a good artsy T-shirt, and I also get paint on them all the time, so I need a to constant keep rotation of them. Yeah, this is Free People. I was like, hmm, I haven't found a Free People thermal in a hot minute, and then she comes out. I like this cuff more though than I feel like I have. From the ones that I found in the past. And they're also wool. I was gonna say, these feel like a lot more substantial yes. than the ones that I found, and this is like the softest. When they thing clean ever. it, I was like, do not dry that. Or no. they're just gonna be these like, like little <laughs> <laughs> shrink up. Um, and I was also super excited that it wasn't a size like extra small, it's a size medium, which is nice. This I was also very excited about. I do not know, like if she's gonna make me a lot of money, but if not, this skirt is just really fun. It's this black and white, kind of like lagging look, looking yeah. like techno goth situation with this fun like hem line and these big old like smock pockets. And this is actually by Tracy Reese. 
who I know like can be sold in intro or like was I think for a hot minute. Plenty by Tracy Reese is more. Oh, often. that what? Plenty by Tracy Reese. Okay. But Tracy Reese is like expensive. Yeah, I knew she was. Pricey. Or it was. I don't even know if it's made anymore. Honestly, we better but... find out. Um, this was a very good find. It's a pair of Eileen Fisher women size three X little pants. I do not know like the fabric like, content culottes. of these. Yeah, they're like a gray denim culotte. Yeah. And who doesn't love a gray denim culotte? I know I do. I and mean, they have the nice, like, elastic waist on them. I found some really good plus size All stuff the this fall trip. lovers, there's your paint. Gray <laughs> culotte. Then, for me, I have a skirt, and this is by Nanners once again. Banana Republic, size small, and this is a pleated mini skirt. But I just love this print. It is mm -hmm. very tall, like the Dior print. Tall. I love it. There are trees and, like, bushes and stuff. It just gives me very tall. So, that's why it's I'm gonna sell that cute. once again. I mean, if it doesn't sell for me, skirts are like hit or miss, then I'll just consign it. Then we have a pair of shorts, and these are these some are really white weird. denim with the button fly and the giant kind of utility pockets at the front. And these are We the Free size 30. I think this, was like, this was like the last thing that I found. I, think. I like the buckle detail. Yeah, the, the buckle detail in the back just makes them like a little more interesting. Yeah, I think that's a little bit more modern too. How people yeah, like do too. the shoelace thing in the back of their jeans. Yeah. Then we have another Athleta piece, and this is that Athleta tag that's like really hard to show. But this is a size small, and it is a shirt dress. And it's in that really soft, I don't remember if it's tensile or like lyocell or it's whatever tensile. they call it. That like chambray kind it of It is 100% tensile. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, it feels like chambray. It's almost like a linen, but much soft. It's like a cotton linen, really, is what yeah. Lyocell feels like. And I think that this will do really, really well. Then I do have an American Eagle piece. We love an American Eagle. American Eagle size medium, and this is from the end of 2001, so it's quite new. This is End just of 2001? 2021. 2021. Can you imagine if we filmed this in 2020? 2021. <laughs> At the end of 2001. Yeah, 2021. <laughs> it is so soft this is very the soft. inside this is of this nice. is like these one of the softest materials i've maybe ever felt so i just like couldn't skip it there's also just nothing wrong with it no flaws it's like a cropped hoodie yeah and that's really cute. why i got it because like it's not the style of american eagle i would normally get but like it is so soft it Trust gives me. brandy melville brandy more brandy, of brandy <laughs> more of a lore more of a lore oh, that's so funny <laughs> Then I did find a Babaton piece, oh, which great. Babaton is a Ritzia, if you did not know. This is size medium. Babaton is usually the easiest to sell of their mm -hmm. brands, but if it's pieces like this, it's a bit trickier. So unfortunately, this might be a little bit harder to sell. The more like businessy kind of like this material, like viscose. Like a chiffon. Kind is of. a little harder to sell, but obviously it is still a Ritzia and it's still Babaton, so it should do good. Whereas that's like one of the newer labels too. The wools and stuff like that does really mm -hmm. well. This should still sell. It just isn't going to be like, you won't hear it in this next it's one. It's not flying off the shelves. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so this also came from Christine, and she said, I have a corset for the Depop girlies. And yes, she absolutely did. Oh, yeah, did. that looks this like the amazing. BB that I just gave you. It did. That already sold. <sighs> um, I would say this is probably a size large. Our mannequin is a size medium, and this fit quite nicely on her. It's one of those, like, underbust corsets, so you could wear, like, a top. It's like you're at a saloon. Or something underneath it. Yeah. Um, I did, like, keep the train up in terms of, like, fun... Vintage. Saloon way. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> this is by a brand called Nuance. This is so pretty. Size three, dry clean only. So like a two, probably. Yeah, she's tiny. She's really small. I could not, I could get the front on the mannequin, but I could not zip it up, unfortunately. But this is this beautiful gold lame, like asymmetrical dress with this like handkerchief hem. It's absolutely stunning. I and it has a this. zipper in the back. This was somebody's like prom dress back in the day. And I oh, hope she back. felt beautiful because it's so much fun. I also love these big old sleeves with all this like it's got to have a lot like crazy a, kind of stuff going on. A lot of aesthetics. It's a it bit, absolutely it's does. It's a bit witchy, but it's also the New Year's. She's party. very glam. She's very glam. It's kind mm -hmm. of like prom. It's kind of goth. Yes. It's kind of like piratey. It's like everything. She's amazing. But this is a really nice pair of Levi's five hundred ones, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe these have been sold at Aritzia before because I think I found them last year when they were actually at Aritzia twenty six. Nice. I love picking up Levi's. They always sell for me. Especially in Depot. Well, I had one little accessory tucked back in here. Buckle up. Jack found this for me, and I think it's Sorry. actually, like, kind of absurd. It's one of those, um, like, early 2000s mud scarves with, like, this kind of a situation going on. Like, your grandma made it. <sighs> leaving. Please leave. <laughs> 
I feel like Snooki. So which the is also another white I threw him that because actually, like, of the few Depop things, not few, but of the <laughs> less than Ryan Depop <laughs> things I've sold, I've had really good luck with the, like, really, really Y2K scarves. I think the girlies are now starting to, but, like, also look at how old this label is. It's that mud label with, like, the little hearts. Yeah, and the little yeah. peace sign. Like I one time heard someone pronounce that mood. But I really don't think it's pronounced mood, is it? No, what it's mud. And it's always been mud. And if you pronounce it mood, get off the internet. Please and thank you. <laughs> this doesn't have a date on it. And I'm kind of upset about it because I would love to know, like, what year. So next up for me is something I probably should have had in the beginning. And it's a little bra. A bra. And this is a very beautiful lavender lace bra. And in the front, it kind of has this, like, X detailing, which is perfect because it is actually Savage X Fenty. So their stuff, oh. as I think I said in the thrift with us, like, it's not actually that expensive. Like, I feel like people think it is, but it's really not that expensive. But it's nice. But it has a following. Mm -hmm. So it can do good. This is a size US 34 Triple D. So it's also a pretty good size, too. Yeah. But I just, I love, I'm kind of like a lavender stan. I love You that. very much are a lavender stan, which is okay because it's a pretty color. Christine threw me this because she knows I love Aretha Athleta. Thanks, Christine. So this is Athleta and this is a size medium. And this is a nice like quilted little vest in white. And for being white, there was one spot on it, but I did get it out. So there is like yeah, nothing wrong cute. with this. There's a few spots I might depill, but otherwise it is great. Then she also threw me this. This is made well and it's a size extra small and the tag keeps curling up. So just trust me. But it's just like a cute little graphic tee with these little artsy like, t-shirt. Artsy, yeah. techno-y kind of little prints to it. Again, if I can't sell it myself, that's something like a con any consignment store would take really yeah. then we have a free people and i actually think i've sold this at least once before i feel like um, i've sold it a couple of times this is too. a size small and this is almost like the like lower end version of the like thermals with the fun sleeves because they have like because it does have a fun sleeve yeah. it's just not like the same it's just not the fun sleeve it's but a fun sleeve I believe the one or two I've had of this, I did end up selling. Like, I didn't have to consign it or anything. So, that's great. Then, I have a sweatshirt. And I love sweatshirts. this is actually by Sundry. And it's a zero, which I believe is extra small. I think so. Yeah. But it's just kind of a, like, wide neck, cropped, orange. Oh, this is really cute. Like a little, sickle, like, after yoga moment. Creamsicle sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. And then, I have this really, really nice sweater. And this is by oh, Bowden, so size medium. And that's the new Bowden label. There's like possibly a little makeup there around just the trim. We got shot wipes. But someone could get that cleaned if they wanted to. Otherwise, it's in great shape. It is in really nice shape. I love Bowden. A I lot. I do not find Bowden much in No, I don't either. Sad. But I love Bowden. Okay, next up for me, found a lot of really good plus size stuff. This is the first one. This is A plus by Anthropology, size 2X. And it's this really cute black tiered little like tunic tank top situation. Sleeveless with like all this really pretty lace detail. I love this. And I was super excited to find some A plus stuff because I never do. Then I found, I think Christine gave this to me for the G-pop girlies. She was on a roll with them today. It's, or yesterday, Monday, whatever. Champion size small, really cute little like cropped 90s kind of like workout top with a big band on the bottom. That will do a very good. Then I have some other A plus. This is tiny. So cute. This is adorable. Size 3X, same tiny label. And the only thing with these kinds of sleeves, even though they are like beautiful, is they get runs in them really easily, but they're really not noticeable. Like you can kind of tell in this one, like every now and again, you'll just see like a little piece of red that's not where it's supposed to be. But other than that, it's really not noticeable. Especially because it's so busy. I was going to say, because it is like a busier print. And this dragonfly looks just like the one I have on my arm. It's a dragonfly and another dragonfly. Yeah, that's so fun. <laughs> um, so I was very excited to find that. Then I found this chaser jumpsuit just to kind of like have something comfy. In my closet, it's a size small. And it's just this nice kind of like washed little like jumpsuit moment. I can see that being like anthro. I think it's Ever Eve. Ever Eve, honestly. Ever Eve, Ever Eve, Eve, whatever. Whatever Eve. And then Jack threw this to me. It's Aloha Republic made in Hawaii. Really cute little made in Hawaii Hawaiian t-shirt. The girlies like to wear these in the summertime, especially. They'll tie them up in a little knot and wear them with their little jean shorts. And the ones made in Hawaii. Yes. The ones made in Hawaii are always the ones that I tend to go for. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm actually going to wrap mine up because I only have like six or seven things left. I'm almost done as well. So this is Athleta size small, but this is like an open cardigan. So honestly, it could fit a medium or even really a large, I would think. Mm -hmm. But I've had this before. Not that I remember the name of it, but it's just like an open kind of like cardigan and of course it has the classic athleta slight 
pilling. Just but a little bit. As I've heard from you guys, if you wash them once, this happens. So that's kind of annoying. I think the athletic customers know that those sweatshirts and stuff come that way because like it's hard to avoid. Yeah. Then we have a Heartloom piece, and this is Heartloom size medium. I used to be absolutely obsessed with Heartloom, mm -hmm. and now I only kind of like it. <laughs> I like the sweaters a lot still, yeah. but everything else is like hit or miss. But I don't know, I'll still give it a shot. It is cold shoulder, which is not really much of a Ooh, thing anymore. Not the cold shoulder. But you never, I mean, there's still some people that do like it. It's yes, just nowhere is. near as popular as it used to be. <gasps> Athleta, little bra. Cute. I like this like ladder detail to the back, and I also love that there's a size because it's so hard to figure out these Oh my God, some sports of these sports bras, bras, they're just like a ghost. Extra small. In terms of the size. But yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Sports cute. bras, easy to store. This is equipment, actually. This is a cute one. Which I just said to Ryan, I have not found equipment in forever. I'm seeing stars. <laughs> Anyway. But it is fully star cut out. So it's not like printed. They're all like laser cut. Are there sleeves? Size large. Nope. And it's like a sleeveless oh, like top. top. So yeah, that's adorable. That'll do great, I think. And if I don't sell it, it should sell by July. By the 4th of think. July. Yeah. This is a gap flannel. And I think this is men's, actually. It's a size medium. This is nice. And I really like the colors. Mm hmm And... I don't know. Flannels, like, they do good I love all flannels, year. man. There's, oh, they're so comfortable. I don't trust a person that doesn't like flannels. Why? <laughs> like, give like, me uh, valid reasons as to why you don't like a flannel. Does that exist? Like, is there someone out there who, like, does not like flannels? Probably. I'm like, <laughs> ugh. Then we have a set... And this is Notori. This is really beautiful. Really, really pretty. I just sold a Notori There's the set. label. So here are the pants. Oh. Really pretty floral. They're wide leg. These are obviously a pair of pajamas. This and then this is, is the stunning. top. The top is missing one button, but that is not that big of a deal. Like, if you're getting the whole set all together, you can just fix one button. Girl, you can go find a button. Does that have a size? Because this one, it's like washed out. Medium. But okay. it is also almost, almost washed. Really if she washed it one more time, it would have been washed out. <laughs> Three more things, and this is the one that makes Ryan very mad. I'm literally so upset. Because normally I throw Ryan every Y2K thing, but this one was just too good that I had to sell it myself. So this is a velvet velour tracksuit, and I bet you can guess what brand, because it's a tracksuit. Mm -hmm. This is Juicy Couture, and it's also a size large, which is not common. They were all teeny tiny. The zipper is large. missing, unfortunately. The J zipper's gone. But oh, no. <laughs> that's okay with me, honestly. And the back... As this beautiful, choose juicy, bedazzled, like pow, bam, bang. It's graphic. so good. It's so good. So once again, this will also go on Depop for sure. Yes. Ugh. But I have another juicy hoodie that has a ton of like. They have a ton of attention. But I have mm -hmm. not sold. So we'll see. I told Ryan, like, if it doesn't sell, he can, I guess, have it. Yes, I will. This is a really adorable double-breasted blazer. And this is actually by H&M. And H&M, very, 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 very select pieces yes. can sell. Mm -hmm. The blazers do pretty good. Yeah, some coats, like coat coats, mm -hmm. and some blazers and stuff. This is a size 10, so it is a good size, too. But I love me a double-breasted blazer. Oh, yeah. Like, so cute. That's adorable. And last is probably one of my best finds. This is a Brody cashmere cashmere sweater so expensive so next time we do a sweater bolo i'm sure we will have this on because they make the cutest mm -hmm. cashmere sweaters including this one this is probably my favorite one even from looking this. online it's adorable so this should do fantastic and it probably will sell for like 200 dollars because they're at least like four they are new. very expensive so i was very excited to find that okay moving on to moi i did find some other very good anthropology plus size pieces this is another one i don't know if this is like a pair of pajama pants or lounge pants they're pair their size 2x but they're just this really nice like linen-y very flowy kind of like hair and pant yeah ryan had a good bit. these are adorable these are so cute and these were literally all like in a stack in the last bit like switch out i was them. like thank you um this is the other pair of pants that i found these are absolutely phenomenal i thought they were gonna be kate spade because this pattern gives me very kate spade vibes but they are made by anthropology size 28 w i do not know if that's like 28 waist or 28 woman, woman. Um, but these are adorable. They're this, like, really nice, soft, satiny material. Just this, like, really cute, wide leg, a little pair of springtime pants. So cute. Then I found this Arian Alley skirt. This one is a size 2X. And it's this super pretty, like, floral. 
I don't know if you can see, but all this like Texture. lace detail are like flowers with these cute little like Swiss dots. It's almost like eyelash y, um, but it's it kind not. of is, yeah. Honestly. Oh, um, very cute. excited to find Hashtag this. Hashtag tweet. Very much so. I also ended up finding the Free People top from a couple of years ago. I do not remember the name of this, even though I've sold it God knows how many times at this point. Uh, it's a size medium. Oh, but here she is. Packery Binks. Packery Binks. Shut up, Emily. Um, Emily. Emily. It just has these really nice, like, billowy poet sleeves and that nice Free People thermal. I think Jack found this, and I took it because I'm going to put it on Depop. Cute. It is Jamie Sadik, which I want to say she's a golf brand or a horse riding brand. She's, like, one of those, like, not super traditional, like, sporting companies. This is a silk blend, really cute little top. I love that it has these little button details this is like on them mid-century modern art yeah this is, is going to do really good on depop it's going that to do quite good so cute it's adorable then i have a good old little crinkly blouse this one's by dress barn yay yay Love that for the girlies. This is a Lag and Lick brand that I will pick up every now and again. It's called Parsley and Sage. It's kind of expensive. I think it's sold at, um, we have a pretty high-end Lag and Lick boutique in the Twin Cities called Fabushes, and I think that's where this comes from. But I think this was really cute. I like the tie-dye on it, and I like that it has this kind of, like, Honestly, embroidery. I don't really know what kind of, like, it is style cute. that is. It is really cute. I forgot that they sell that brand. Because I think I, know. I might I have seen like, this before hmm. you grabbed it, and I probably, I guess, would have picked it up. Every now and again, I'll see something from them that's just, like, yeesh. It doesn't that, hold its value as much as some of the other No, that I thought was but. cute. This is just like a vintage little Abercrombie and Fitch cropped little v-neck sweater, perfect for the girlies. There's no size, but it does have the little Abercrombie and Fitch moose. Moose. Okay, we have a few more things, not that many. One this. This is a pants chain. Thank you. Christine handed this to me and I am going to sell it on behalf of her. It is this really beautiful, you're not gonna be able to see this, CP Shades velvet black maxi skirt this is stunning it's so soft it's so nice it makes, cp shades is so expensive it like doesn't really catch any light so when you hold it up it just like we disappear like ryan's just you kind of just like it's like what's that cloak like, from like <laughs> merlin or whatever yeah either way very the good disappearing, find. like very excited about that these are a pair of free people overalls that i've had before these are a size two short alls short alls and overalls yeah Thank you. Um, really cute, kind of like farmer's washed looking overalls, but I like that they have the string, like hold up detail, so you can kind of like, you know. Moving <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, you can kind of like just vibe in them and like nobody's gonna yell at you. Jack found these and he handed them to me and they are a pair of American Apparel sweatpants, which I love the old American Apparel stuff. It was so nice and this is one of them. Really cute little pair of blue Terry sweatpants. Everybody loves sweatpants Nice, now. nice, nice. This is my last thing, and I'm going to put these on Depop. The brand is Oil Lily, size 36. Oil so they're European. I would say these are like a modern, like, 2-4. They're kind of tiny. Really cute little pair of, like, cropped flare capris. I love this, like, blue pattern with this, like, floral design. And then they have the little splits in the back, which I think are quite cute. Okay. That's all she wrote. That's all we That's got. That's all we have. That's all we have. So let us know what your favorite thing was that we found. I don't think the oil alloys are my favorite. Oil alloy. Those are not my favorite. <laughs> Why? I think they're adorable. I think I'm going to wear them. I with think like I'm going to be alone for more than a I'm week of gonna, video. <laughs> I think I'm going to wear them with a small, square-toed, open kitten heel. Anyway. And a New York and Company shirt. Anyways, with that nightmare... Uh. <laughs> Don't fall asleep anytime soon or something's gonna haunt you. Hope you're not watching this when you're going to bed. <laughs> we will see you guys on, we will see you on Saturday for some kind of pre-recorded or something, something what's on Saturday. Yeah. But we'll both be there. And then the next week is gonna be, like I said, just me. So let me know what you do want to see from me. Yeah. I can just do like what we normally do. I can do like thrift with us in a haul or I can do something else. Mm -hmm. Just let me know because I'd rather do like what you guys want than just like make something up myself. Yeah. And and we will see you sometime. I'll see you for the I'll normal be back schedule, but at some point, unless he gets stuck with the mouse, probably. I hope so. Yeah, all of a sudden he has like uh -huh. a timeshare down there that he owns one hundred percent of the time. <laughs> I'd be like, miss you. So we will see you when we see you. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.